guys, so today I'm going to be filming my um, cloth nappy stash um, and Sebastian is currently on the floor there, I don't know if you know the books in, and he's eating his snake. You're going to say hello to everybody, he's been very very loud today. Um, going to say hello Seb? Going to say hello? Are you going to say hello? Are you just going to look grumpy? Are you going to look grumpy? What are you doing, Sebs? What are you doing? Cutie. This is an updated version because last time I did them it was when, I think it was before Sebastian was born, I'm not sure, um, and there was a lot of newborn things, let me just focus, a lot of newborn nappies in the stash and now these, now that we know exactly what Sebastian um, actually, what works for us, this is kind of the stash as it is updated. So again, as I've mentioned before, the unit is from Ikea, it's really affordable and I think what we're going to do is when we have another child, if we have two in cloth, we'll probably just actually use this as a shelving unit for Sebastian and get another maybe some CD racks or something to store um, nappies if we have two in cloth but that's not for a while though that's another video well let's ch change the subject <laughs> okay let's start at the top so up here we have some baby legs um, I got these from um, tinynippers.co.uk you can get them on eBay and basically they're just little leg warmers that can go on the full leg um, and it means that you can kind of show off the nice prints of the nappy um, they're really good if you're kind of rocking about in the house so we've got um, quite a few of those some cow prints, dino prints and some aliens up here we have I'll just get the basket down our wraps um, we're currently absolutely loving the bum genius flip um, wrap I use this for as an we have couple um, I use this at night time as well as um, with um, not actually I don't actually use it with the flip inserts I tend to try fold a pre-fold and use that in there especially if we're out and about um, and I still do the um, old sort of newspaper fold or whatever it's called um, with Sebastian as well so I find these absolutely bomb proof I really like them we have two of the ones in the wash at the moment of these swaddle bees um, size ones are starting to get a bit small now so we could probably um, well that's actually why I might get some more flips because the next size to these are these and they're humongous they're absolutely huge I love them though because they're double gusset but um, it's gonna be a while before Sebastian fits in those so um, at the moment we're just loving the flips and then in here we've got loads of medication and things and I usually keep wet bags and stuff okay this top row is most of this is our kind of go-to nappies we've got loads of bamboo inserts here all these are bum genius um, sorry bum genius free times all in ones um, which we're currently absolutely loving um, and yeah, these, as you can see, are just our absolute favourite. Um, and I think we're going to probably try and get a few, a couple more of those. Though so I really do believe that, as you'll see as the video goes on, that our stash really is complete. So we shouldn't, do not need any more nappies. Um, these are Totspot's Fruity Print nappies. They're limited edition prints, and that's the only reason, and I love the prints as well. The only reason why I kept them, Totspots aren't working for us so well. Um, I don't know why, if it's the fit or what, but uh, they're just not working so well for us. But I love these two prints, so I've kept them. These are my favourite nappies. We've never had a leak in any of these, and they're really cheap. These are the Duda Baba um, nappies from eBay. And I've got a cow print there, sporty one there. These are all minky. Um, a transport one, football. Superman and Alphabet um, and they're all poppers as well because Sebastian um, can undo Velcro now so poppers is the best thing for us to use. Um, I got this from Mother Care, this changing mat. I got this lovely sign off a friend which I absolutely love. Um, I'm waiting for when Sebastian, well we're going to be putting Sebastian in his room or in here tonight for the first time so I'm going to find a place to put it above the bed. We've got Eeyore there with his own little nappy on. And then we have all our pre-folds. These are the size one or like newborn size pre-folds. And actually, as you can see, we've got loads here and we use these majority of the time. So all this could complete our stash, though I do have some underneath, as you'll see. Because um, 
yeah, we, we've definitely got a lot of nappies here. But the way I see it, if we have any more children, then we can just continue. These are quite sort of unisex. We can just kind of continue using the same nappies. That's the great thing about birthed potties. We can use these nappies on the next child. Um, when we're out and about, this is all we use. I either trifold them or do the kind of origami fold or newspaper fold, as it's called, whatever it's called. So those usually come out and about with us. Um, we have some liners here, I've got a squeaky toy there, Sophie the Giraffe teether, some um, tea tree oil that I use with the cloth wipes, some pseudocreme, a nappy nipper, and some baby oil there. Yeah, what's going on dude? We've got um, some fleece liners here, and I've also got some cloth wipes that I keep in an old cloth wipe container, and after I'll show you how I fold them so that they can be pulled out like normal like normal wipes oh and here as well i've got my favorite wee notions nappy this is um herbie 53 which i adore sebastian's not in a very good mood i don't think he wants me to seb sebastian so these are um just from this under shelf bit here and these are our nighttime nappies and the nighttime nappies that we use most of the time are these these are the easy peasy bimble they're birthed potty and i love them they come with an extra booster and um a fleece kind of liner as well or kind of fleece inner um and they're so absorbent and comfortable and just lovely you can either use them with a nipper which i use or they have poppers as well so i've got several of those and then i've got two tot spots bamboozles um a tot spots fluffle and this i bought the other day and I, i'm going to try and get some more these are the blueberry fitteds um and i just love them they're really good they worked really well for us as a night nappy um so yeah and then we also at night time use fleece pants which again work very well okay and then in the next one and um, we have just the overspill of pocket nappies so i've got again loads of the um doodah baba ones um and i have two, uh, top spots cherry licious there and i have some blueberry one size or blueberry uh one size fits all but they are again just like the wraps they're absolutely humongous Okay, in here, um, which is the kind of next one up, there's just a couple of fuzzy buns, medium, which I haven't used yet, some microfiber um, inserts, some paper liners, and a size 2 prefold. I don't know what that's doing there. This is kind of just, again, for like if we get any extra nappies, but um, I really have to control with like, as you can see, we really have more than enough in our stash. And this side are newborn nappies. So these are all the newborn nappies. I'll show you them anyway. Of course, Sebastian is out of these now, but um, the nappies that we used for nighttime, um, and we only just stopped using these actually. They only just started getting too small, but I love them. The Diddy diapers, very, very absorbent with a nice cotton inner, and you use a nipper to fasten those. They work really well for us. Again, we used a lot of prefolds. We have two fitted here, Kiss of Love and Blueberry. Uh, work at home mum pocket, um, some wraps by bunny bummies. Um, I don't know, I think that's bummies as well. Cotton bottoms and some pixie pants fleece. Some eBay Alva babies, um, two fuzzy buns small, and three tot spots. And that's our newborn stash. And then over there is where I will keep a pail. Yeah, a pail um, where we keep our um, dirty nappies. But that's pretty much um, our whole entire stash. Um, and yeah, I've really got to restrain myself from buying any more. So if you see me going, oh, I've bought any more, I've bought some more nappies in any further videos, then you can have permission to tell me off. I thought I'd show you as well how I fold my cloth wipes in order to make it so that they kind of just pop out. What I do is you lay one down and then you lay another one kind of just over it, like so. Fold that, it doesn't have to be particularly over. It's a bit difficult with one hand. Then you lay that on top of there, and you fold that piece over. Again, this is very untidy. You lay that on top of there, and then you fold that piece over and so on and so forth. Lay that over there and fold that piece over. And then what, you, what you're gonna get is a nice, yes, Sebastian, kind of 
kind of concertina type effect and you can just lay them in and you just thread that bit through and then you'll start oh dear not doing very well here maybe if i focus that might help and then you'll see what i mean by it comes through yay although i need another hand to stabilize the box so there you go